Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Pamela and I make content on all different things including horticulture, hair bags, and my life. So if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe. But I just want to say Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year to everyone who's watching this video, whether you're watching it on Wednesday or Thursday. I cannot believe that it's the end of a decade. It's going to be 2020, but I wanted to make sure that my last video of the year on December 31st is my plant tour, my home plant tour. I'm going to show you guys every single plant inside of my home that I have accumulated over the last few years, including especially in 2019. That's when I really got the plant bug and I started getting into just like rarer, more uncommon plants and just plants in general instead of the ones that I've been having since I was a kid that I've been growing like you'll see my Daphnebachia to the lovelies that are in the mill like there are plants that are in the mill right now that I have not gotten yet so unfortunately those will not be in this video I'm not sure when they'll arrive they'll definitely arrive after January 1st so again thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel who has watched my channel who has subscribed shared liked my videos even if you aren't subscribed thank you so much for putting your energy towards me and for receiving my energy i hope my energy is good i'm all about energy i'm all about manifestation and just the power of the tongue so next year 2020 tomorrow in a couple of hours this is going to be the year for my kooky fan for girls who hoard a cult guys i don't really honestly there's just so much i can say but i just want you to enjoy this video i want to show you guys all the plants in my homes there's many of them that i have not even spoken about but don't you worry <laughs> um any questions just ask and of course i can definitely just film for you all and yes I do have one earring on because it doesn't make sense to put earrings on a site that's always hidden <laughs> right so anyways guys I'm gonna get right into the video so let's get watching <laughs> So I'm going to first start off with this corner in my room. This is my filming corner. As you guys may or may not have noticed, but the first plant I do want to show and talk about is my Bird of Paradise. And this plant is named Balthazar. Yes, I do name my plants, you know, some of them, not all of them. So this baby, my Bird of Paradise, is Balthazar. And if you pan over to right below the arm of my chair, I have this English ivy that's been struggling badly with uh, spider mites, but it's on its last few branches. And once this bad boy is done for, it's done for. No repurchasing of ivies. Now we're going to go ahead and pan over to this table situation that houses multiple plants all right so I'm gonna start off right here so these are my propagations I have my Cebu blue my Philoscandans right here propagating from Kaylee who was my uh, Miracle Santa she sent me these plants for free so I'm rooting them in a clear jar inside of another jar because roots actually like to grow in darkness in contrast to us putting them inside of like clear containers because they're pretty but they rather grow in the dark that's why they grow better and thicker and healthier in soil look at this cat look at this cat look at this cat always all right so next is my regular just philodendron scandens i also gave one of these away to laura who was my giveaway winner so that's my philodendron scandens 
and behind it I have more propagations let me just bring these in closer to you so this first plant here is just a mixture of I have some micans in there I have I believe this is a Chinese evergreen that has been struggling so much I've lost so many leaves of this and I decided to water propagate it <sighs> let's see what it does um, I have this really pretty marble queen pothos which I recut and I'm repropagating more leaves but this one's not doing too crazy well and this is this one I also have over there this is a just a golden pothos propagation I do not plant these in soil I actually just let them chill in here for whenever I do want to propagate other plants I like to stick them in a jar with rooted pothoses because that just increases the speed of the roots of other plants to grow but you know it's all right now if I pan up I have my lovely Diefenbachia aka dumb cane and this is I believe my oldest plant in my home as you can see it's humongous it's huge plant and it's also living with so uh, I believe these are like aglionema or I actually have no idea what plant this is so if anyone knows or can ID this plant for me please let me you know please tell your girl what this is because I've had this plant again as long as I've had my uh, Diffenbachia and I actually also named this Diffenbachia it is named stoic stoic for my leader for the first for taking charge I actually just leave the definition of what stoic means right here for you guys but I've named my Diffenbachia stoic and it's lovely I love this plant so much so I have this lovely Hoya uh, I believe this is the Crimson Princess so this one just chose right here Uh, on top of my Diffenbachia stand and this is a plant holder stand situation that I'll show you actually what this is supposed to look like in another portion of my home but before I forget I also have this lovely uh, Sansevieria this snake plant I don't know the exact kind it is but I have a snake plant just chilling right here in the back so again this is the overview of this space right here and this is how it looks now up there above my bed I like to keep my philodendron micans So I have a philodendron micans that just lives on top of my bed. So this section, I'm sorry for the lighting because it's back lit but also front lit but it's really hard to show you guys. This section here is one of my windowsills. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what, it, what I have housed here. The first is my spiralis cacti. So I have these just chilling here right next to some of my Hoya compactas. And then I have this little baby, really, really, really cute string of pearls next to my Hoya Carrii and my Hoya Chelsea. Then you guys see this gigantic mother of thousands Kalenko right here and this is the alligator this is the alligator one then I have variegated string of hearts then I have also my variegated string of pearls next to my variegated Hindu rope and my pink Kalenko I also have my mother of millions Kalenko right here and lastly, behind, 
I have my lovely little limp, uh, but I love this plant so much. This is my cacti with a whole bunch of baby offshoots. As you guys can see down here, this little flower that they had glued onto the plant right here fell off, but I have a few little baby offshoots right here. And I do like to rotate my plants periodically because originally this side was facing the window and I just gave it a big 180 turn to now allow that side to straighten out my plant. I don't like crooked plants. The last little plant over here in this section is the one that Kaylee sent me. So this has my plug, I don't know how to pronounce it, plethrinth, plethrinth, plethrinthris, I don't know. But that is here and these are forming little roots with another just philodendron and then right here this section I don't really care too much for it's just these succulents that sadly I'm just I'm over I'm not a big succulent person honestly but these right here they're just chilling I'm gonna try to like put them all in one little tray together Guys, I almost forgot, in this section I have my pilea propagating right here. I also forgot to mention I have this little mini baby jade just chilling right here. If you, we pan up now, you guys can see my golden pothos. And let me just bring you guys up. I also have this, another different bakia, I think this is the Maria. And then lastly up here is my, oh gosh, what is this called? Uh, one of my worst plant purchases of 2019. This is my mini Monstera, my Tetrasperma refritifora. And one of my favorite, favorite plants of all time. Uh, this is just my Hindu rope. Can you guys see? My Hindu ropes, I have two. And I also have this string of bananas and this Haworthia. I'm sorry guys, you guys can't see anything. Backlit sucks. So now we're panning to my other window. And this section I have succulent propagations, which I have decided to no longer propagate anymore down here. I have my fiddle leaf fig tree, aka Toby, that you guys know about. I love Toby so much. I have my money tree, which I've had for many years. Humongous, humongous money tree. I also have right here, this is one of my propagations. This was another Sansevieria. I only own two Sansevierias at the moment. I have this little cutie patootie, just string, um, string of beads, I, I believe these are called. I have my euphorbias. Honestly, am I the only person that likes to stack plants on top of other plants because I don't have any more like foot space? I mean like floor space. So those sun so those sunglasses don't actually belong there, but let's just ignore them for now. Get you guys in frame. I have my Raven ZZ, I have my lovely string of dolphins, and I have my favorite Syngonium white butterfly, and this plant is like humongous also. It stretches all the way up and over with multiple branches, so I love this Syngonium white butterfly. So on the window, I actually have this succulent that I made a video about, and I only got it for just a dollar, just one dollar. And I have this succulent arrangement that I made a video of, which has just some ogre ears and other miscellaneous succulents. Here I have my philodendron Brazil, my string of hearts classic my Adansoni, I also have my Hoya Linearis, and my, uh, what is this called again, 
Ripsalis. I also have my variegated piece of crap um, Hindu rope right here. Um, not even, I just keep it away from all the plants though, but enough to get sunlight. So this little section is my dresser. I have more propagations that I just actually let live in here. I don't care to pot it. This is my beautiful marble queen. And I also have this neon um, syngonium. And those are the only plants that I have in this section. Now to pan you guys up, you see my ring light and all that. I have this humongous, uh, just my golden pothos. And I love it. I let it do whatever it wants, whenever it wants, however it wants. And it just loves it. <laughs> so I leave it in this here. It doesn't, it gets ample light <laughs> for what it does. And it just grows like crazy. So I let it just chill there. So in this section, I have my stromanthi trio star i also have a smaller bird of paradise that i've been growing from gosh the first leaf is not even here anymore this plant i've had it for a few years and it started off super small my first bird of paradise and i love it so much so much and it's just going crazy like crazy like all my plants do down here i also have a just this Maria Illusion, I think this might be called. Uh, my Syngonium. Beautiful. I also have a mini Pixie Syngonium in this area too. I have my uh, Philodendron Podatum. And lastly, back here, I have Amanda, who is my pothos combo. She's regular green pothos and, uh, uh, what is it called? A golden pothos. And this is Fergus. Fergus, Fergus, Fergus. Fergus, my Monstera Deliciosa, very delicioso. And under Fergus, you guys can see my ZZ plant, this gigantic Damio. This humongous Zamiofolia Zamiococcus, or however way you say it. Now, we're going to pan up to up here. Let me bring you guys up here. So, this section of my room... I have a, a plant light, a grow light, I have my philodendron, no, my Milano chrysum, I have this beautiful silver pothos, beautiful bushy, and I like to keep a lot of my international travel, so this is from Egypt, this is from Netherlands. I have my, just a portion of my Hoya Linearis because I love the trailing plant situation. This is from Russia. Uh, this is from, can you guess it, Egypt again. And I just have a whole bunch of propagation. So this is one little mini propagation, another mini propagation. And back here, I don't know if you guys can properly see it. But I have another propagation station situation that I leave these. I actually don't pot these. I like for them to be the way they are, um, unbothered and just beautiful. Okay, so here in my kitchen, I have my <sighs> aloe plant. I have this Posentia, I think that's what it's called. I have this cacti garden from DR that I smuggled five years ago. I'm just gonna whisper that. I also now have my Syngonium that I've had for 
as long as I've had this aloe, but I never gave it a bigger pot. If we go deeper into this plant situation here, I have this crazy euphorbia situation back here that's doing a bunch of legs. I have another little cactus garden here. Not cactus, another succulent garden behind my euphorbia, my African milk tree. You see these right here? They're just chilling. So my syngonium actually is chilling on this other raven plant. Right here, you see a nice McDonald's cup. Delicious. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And I have a ton of bamboo plants that just live in water. Here. And behind that, gosh, you guys can't see, but here is one of them right here. I have my African thyme right here. And in my kitchen, I also have my propagation of micans. And this dying white posentia. Posen whatever you say. However you pronounce it. So these are pretty much my kitchen plants. They're the crazy plants in my home. They grow humongously. They grow... They grow like crazy if you guys can see how big this ZZ plant gets it's gigantic humongous and my cat always nosy wants to know everything that's going on so these are my kitchen plants so I don't know about you so I don't know about you but my bathroom is doesn't really have the best lighting so I have just this what is this called just a plant in a pot that just sits on the windowsill that's the only bathroom plant I have sadly for someone who has so many plants but don't worry 2020 all right so I'm not sure if this really counts but here are just my aquarium plants now the only plant left is in my mom's room and Miss Jinx is on the windowsill. Welcome. So this is this is the last plant in my home. I have no idea what it is, but I just keep it on her in her room because she needs some sort of life in here. Her room is like pitch black all the time and mine is just like bright as can be. So guys again like I said happy new year's eve and happy new year to everyone. 2020 is going to be major and of course if you didn't know if you want anything to happen you have to like take the steps for it. You, you can't want something and then do nothing about it that's not how the power of the tongue manifestation you know works you put it in the universe and then you forget about it then you just make the steps towards getting your goal so this is what 2020 is going to be for me 2019 has been a good year right but 2020 is going to be an even better year for me for you guys for my channel for again my my whole brand it's gonna be just amazing and I want you guys to come along with me and my Lola Lola wants to say happy new year's to everyone say happy new year's happy new year I love you say I love you cookie fam so guys thank you so much for watching this video again if you liked it don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already join this little cookie family because it's gonna be our year and share this video if you liked it if you love plant tours because I've never done a plant tour of anything or a tour in general so yeah 
share this video, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what are your plants, what plants from my collection that you might want, or plants I should add on to my collection because I definitely need some more plants, um, because I obviously don't have enough that I'm just like being swallowed up <laughs> by plants. And let's get growing everyone, I'll see you on the next one, bye.